I just need high quality individuals that care about customers, want them to have the right equipment for their tractors. I've been unsuccessful finding that here uh, locally. And so um, I'm hoping maybe somebody out there can help. I've been trying to think of how to make this video for some time. This is kind of a, uh, this is a get to know Good Works Tractors video, but this is also a, the, one of the things I hate the most about my, about, about work. I guess, um, or about business. And it's like a necessary evil for me. And it's not for the reasons that you think. Um, there's a lot of reasons that go into it actually. And I've, I'm making this video now because it's fresh in my mind because I've had to be pulled back into doing a lot of this, which I got away from for a long time uh, because I am, I am built on efficiency, all right? My, business model is built to be very efficient. So we, we sell a lot of equipment. I do not have a lot of employees, uh, but right now I'm having a little bit of trouble with uh, manpower and we're looking for some new employees. And, you know, so it all comes back to me. Whenever there's stuff to do, you know, I mean, I wish I could clone me and just have a bunch of me's around there, but that's not possible. So, and if there were a bunch of other me's floating around there, out there that I could hire, well, they just wouldn't exist because they would just go do what I'm doing, right? In their own industry and everything else. So people like me don't want to work for other people. So uh, I struggle with some things in business because, and in life in general, uh, because I am a perfectionist. So I, I, I try to get better at that, but um, it can cause me to be critical and it can cause me to be negative and uh, I would say that um, it's something I'm always working on. So sometimes when you see like reaction videos where I do things to negative viewers or things that I disagree with, it's because I have, well, I took the, uh, my wife wanted me to take the personality test, the Enneagram, you ever, you ever done that, any of you? Anyways, turns out I'm a type one on the Enneagram, which is the moral perfectionist. That's literally what it is. And it describes me to a T, both the good and the bad. And so it means that I, basically feel like I can't let anybody down. And if somebody says that I'm wrong, I have to prove them wrong and why I'm right. <laughs> very, very bad. I mean, it'll just eat you alive. So anyway, it actually helped to be aware of that. Um, and so when I find myself getting into those cycles, I, I realize that's like my nature and that, you know, let it go, man. Like it's just, it, it doesn't even matter that much, right? I mean, you're not gonna agree with everybody, you gotta let things go. So normally not into uh, personality tests and stuff like that too much, but it actually, it, it struck a chord and made sense. And so there's some validity there and it gives me, I guess there's other people like me out there. I'm not alone. So that's good to know as well. So on to um, the thing that I'm, that I'm struggling with right now <clears throat> is actually answering the phone. So uh, taking phone calls. I have preached over and over to all of my employees to never let the phone go unanswered, okay? Answer every phone call. And that doesn't mean you can help that customer by having the answer for them right then. Sometimes they can, um, but if they can answer the phone and just say, hey, yeah, I, sorry, I don't know what you need right now, but I can certainly take a, a message and then have somebody else that does know get back to you. Well, that's a great first step. Um, but I've been hearing too often that we're not answering the phone Okay. And sometimes it, it's just not going to happen. I mean, that's what voicemail is for. And if somebody leaves a voicemail, we're going to call them back. Uh, we certainly are. There's no intent to not call people back. That's just part of doing business, but have every intent to, to get back to people on the phone. So where I'm getting at though, is that my, my, my business is built on efficiency, right? I answer somewhere between 100 and 250 at the busiest days, 300 emails a day. Um, that's 100 to 300 customers that I can get back to that I can never talk to all of those people on the phone. Could I hire a whole bunch of people to sit around and, and talk on the phone? Yeah, I could, but they're going to give crappy information, bad advice, uh, things that I wouldn't recommend. Um, I, I don't know. I, I have not been able to find somebody who can just always recommend things the way that I, that I would. Right. And even if I tell them what to say and give you a call back, there's follow-up questions, right? There's just follow-up that is natural to go along with that to, well, okay, I don't know, let me call you back. And there's just so much back and forth. Um, 
And so I'm, I'm stuck doing more and more of this. And that's just a, a blessing and a curse, right? I mean, it's my own fault. I've been building the business bigger, right? And so these are challenges that I have to figure out and address and deal with to be successful. Otherwise, I'm not going to be successful. And so that's all on me. <clears throat> so I don't like answering the phone. Why? Because they're inefficient uses of time. Um, people call for all sorts of reasons and you don't know until you answer the phone, right? I mean, they'll call for things nine times out of 10 that we don't sell, that we have nothing to do with and they can't help with. But uh, oftentimes it's, it goes down a rabbit hole where you're talking about other things and I can feel my, my watch vibrating or my phone buzzing with five, 10 more emails that have come in and I still have a pile of emails to take care of for people that need help and I'm tied up on the phone. So it's, it's a bad use of time um, as far as that goes with the amount of people that I can help in the limited amount of time that I have. I don't have somebody else that can, can do it. I've tried. Um, I'd love to get there, right? But I'm so, again, getting back to that type one personality, I, I have such high expectations of making the right, the correct recommendation to you on what to do that it's hard for me to be, to not be critical if somebody else that I would train says something a little bit differently. Um, I take that very seriously. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Also, I'm kind of hard of hearing. My family tells me that all the time. So I can't hear very well on the phone. That is not, that's pretty frustrating, okay? And uh, so whether it's just because of me or it's a bad connection or whatever else it is, you know, that can be tough to know what you're saying and having to have you repeat things or try to guess what you're saying. Uh, it can be tough when I'm taking orders on the phone because I enter an address incorrectly or a credit card number incorrectly or a email address incorrectly, whatever it is, you know? And so it's, it's, uh, it's very tough as far as that goes. Um, it often means that I also have to follow up anyways with an email to that person with links to more information on the website. And so I can, I can send all that information originally in an email if that was how I was contacted too. Um, and plus I talk to so many people that I honestly forget the conversations that I have. And so it's easy for the person on the other end of the line to say, yeah, you talked talk to me previously about this tractor, this product and all that kind of stuff, my memory is unfortunately not that good. And so if I can go back to emails instead and see what we were talking about, then it's all right there laid out and a lot easier for me to remember exactly what we're talking about. So there's just a lot of reasons why the phone it just kind of drives me nuts. Um, you know, a lot of phone tag too, right? Somebody calls, leaves a message, then you call them back, leave a message, and they call a new message because I'm, I'm shooting videos right now. I'm doing a thousand jobs, you know? And so again, a lot of this comes down to being my problem, not anybody else's problem. Um, I feel like I can't be alone in that. And, I, and it's not that I don't like talking to people. It's not that I don't uh, enjoy the conversations. It's just that I, I only have so much time in the day and I want to help out as many people as I can. I'm constrained on that resource of time. I, I have the expectation to provide you with the best information that I possibly can and I unfortunately feel like I'm the only person that can do that. And so that's why uh, I love the email. So if you are able to email, I'm pleading, I suppose, I would love to get emails from you instead of phone calls, but I can certainly talk to anybody on the phone. I'm not saying you can't do that, but if, if you're open to either form of communication, email is great because I can get back to you. I've, I don't leave emails unanswered. I answer emails every day. I don't know, I've never not, I've never gone a day without answering emails. I answer emails every single day of my life. So, and every single email that gets sent to me is replied to. If you don't get a reply from me, check your spam folder, check the spelling of your email address that you sent to me, check something else. But don't ever say I didn't reply to you because I always reply to emails. I, it's, 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 again, type one, I'm a perfectionist. I, it is, that's what I do. I make sure I get back to people. So I just can't let that go. But uh, yeah, if you guys have solutions, I'd love to know about them, but um, if you're still with me, what I'd really like to do, really, really, really would like to do is have some salesmen or women, doesn't matter either way, that know tractor equipment. 
I need them to know what it is so that I can have more help on my sales staff. And there's a lot of folks out there that are watching this all over the country. I don't even think you need to be here in Paw Paw, Michigan. I don't think that's necessary because we're an online business. We're set up that if you can call in or you can email and just talk to somebody, you're just looking for a recommendation on what works, right? You can go to the website and buy it. I just need high quality individuals that care about customers, want them to have the right equipment for their tractors. I've been unsuccessful finding that here uh, locally. And so um, I'm hoping maybe somebody out there can help. I don't need one, I need like five. So I need, I need, I need good people out there that, that want to make a difference in people's lives and help them out, get them set up correctly. Not just say, this is what we have, so that's what you can use on your tractor. That's not the right recommendation. Not pushy salesmen, people that want to guide them to, this is what will work for your tractor because it's the right weight, because it has the right quick attach. You know, this is why it's a good product. It's, it's got good features, it's a good price point, it's high quality, good warranty. Let the product sell themselves, not be pushy, don't want that at all. What do they call those, like product information specialists or something, you know? Just going about things the right way, that care about customers the way that I do. Um, don't know if they have to be a, an Enneagram type one or not, but uh, anyway, this is, like I say, I, my channel is probably a little bit different than a lot of the other channels out there. My business is different. Um, so I share different things. You know, it's uh, a, different, a different look at a business, at a small business. Started from a hobby to a part-time business to a full-time business. And I'm getting to the point where there's things that yeah, I just need help on, right? I, I'm good at a lot of things, but I, need, I just need some extra help in some areas. So anybody out there know anybody, shoot me an email. We can start there. <laughs>